Welcome into Hedge Rich Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius. That being said, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you will know. Thank you so much if it does. If not, please do release the energy, check your rising, your moon or Venus as well. We are starting out this reading looking at um, your energy. Um, what is going on inside of your energy field. Then I want to have a look and see what's going on around you in the energy field. And then we are moving into um, what you don't see coming. So let's get started here in your reading. We've got, I'll show you each one of the cards close up. We do have a awaiting results card, which is a seven of pentacles. So that can be about financial issues here or stability issues. Um, coming in next to it, we've got the Find Balance card, which is Two of Pentacles. Again, a bit of worry about finances there or stability. Um, the Nine of Cups comes in, which I like to see. Very nice energy. Dreams coming true. Okay, so that is your Nine of Cups. Let's have a look and see the energy around you. Let's have a look and see. Spirit Guide. Nine of Swords. Hmm. The Devil card. Wow. Nine of Swords, Judgment card, Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, wow, okay, what you don't see coming, Two of Swords, it's what you don't see coming basically, the Three of Wands and the Ace of Cups here, hmm. okay, before I go on, I'm just going to say, as I was going into the reading, um, I do feel like you are somebody that is at this moment of doing the reading. You really focus on your life right now and money and how you're feeling in your world and the stability that you're trying to create. You've got so much big dreams. Like you see yourself living in like a mansion or having a nice car. Really material success is big. You may have a dream with regards to maybe uh, having a business or becoming very successful in life. And there's a lot of doubt to that you, is being carried in you right now if you can achieve that and i'm going to stop you right there your worries are for nothing okay all right so seven of pentacles here um yes a wedding result so this is you definitely putting a lot of effort into something in your life here um you've been putting so much effort in you may not be seeing the results of this financially you might have a bit of financial issues here or maybe worried about the long-term financial stability of your life in general um so you got this finding balance card coming up here which is two of pentacles it is a card that talks about trying to juggle um all the responsibilities that you have which is then causing stress upon you making you feel as if you are not sure you know if you'll be able to handle all that you are meant to be handling um it is also talking about you needing to just hold on a bit longer it, it, it's asking you to just wait um not to panic not to give up just kind of keep on doing what you're doing um because there's going to be something shown to you okay with the dreams come true card very beautiful energy nine of cups actually um this card is talking about your emotional well-being it is talking about what you are going to be shown here and I feel this is in your energy. So if this is in your energy, this is what's going to happen. Okay. Because it's in your energy. So it almost feels as if certain things in life are fated for you. They are destined for you. It is meant for you to walk that path. That is why you could want it so badly. Sometimes we think that we are creating our reality. For instance, somebody goes, I so really want to own a business. I want to have a pet store i don't know you know what i mean <laughs> whatever i want to be an, have an online business i want to um do whatever it is that you want to do the life that you're trying to create over there and we think you know i want this so i'm going to create this so, and it, i have free will to do so and in the meantime it's inside of you already and that's the reason why you want it so badly it's because it's there and you just know that is what you want it is going to happen for you this is going to happen for you um moving forward just keep going forward, please, okay? Um, focus, 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 focus. Now is the time for you to get yourself in gear. First gear, second gear, until you're moving quite fast. Focus on what it is you're trying to create. Focus on what it is that you need to 
do physically every single day to get yourself to the, the destination that you are trying to reach. It is going to require quite a lot of effort from you. I do see you doing that because it shows as the energy around you. So I see you getting that energy moving and heading for, towards something. Very quick moving energy. There's some kind of um, reveal here that's going to take place for you. Um, that is bringing up this devil energy. I feel like, first of all, there's an unbelievable clarity that comes to you about what you want to do. So if you're a little bit confused, even like, I don't even know basically what I want out of life. I just know I want to have this life. There's something I want to be doing. And you could be going, I don't even know what that is. Yeah, you will know now. Devil card coming in here. We've got Capricorn coming in. Very practical energy. This is earth-based energy. So you're looking at your life in the material world. Okay. Being shown to you. This is what you can have. You see how he's showing his hand. This is what I can give you. But you're so worried that you won't be able to get this with the Nine of Swords. It's like you're going, this is what I want so badly. I want this in my life. I want to create this in my world. I want this energy. I want to be a multi-millionaire, Deborah. I want to own a multi-million dollar company or business or whatever this is for you. And you could be so in your head worrying about this creation of this because you... You're, you're, you're trying to do this and you're not seeing the results as you wish to see it. And you could get into your head here. Yeah. You need to let that go. Okay. You need to, yeah, you need to let this go. Um, if you're trying to create something in your life, the possibly the worst thing that you could possibly ever do is to be there and worry about it not happening because you will create that reality for yourself when you go to bed at night and you put your head down on the pillow and you start worrying danger 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 because you will create that reality everything that you think about the moment you wake up in the morning and the moment you put your head down on the pillow you living that world that's what you created so if you wake up in the morning and go oh my god everything's going to be terrible today hello okay <laughs> the universe is going to give you that if you wake up go to bed at night and you go oh my god this is going to fail what if it doesn't work oh no what if i can't pay the bills oh what am i going to do hello your emotion feels that as if it is real and so you will create it because you don't get what you want you get what you are and if you are carrying an energy of fear and lack and and just whatever you creating that reality so you got to change the narrative here you got to stop saying that to yourself and you got to change it around it takes the same amount of energy to change what your mind is saying to you that is your mind it's not you you need to control your mind so you need to become conscious to become conscious means that you stop the mind from running away and you say whoa mind what are you doing Especially when you catch yourself doing that. I used to, in the beginning of my like, journey, spiritual journey, I knew I became very conscious of my mind being in control of the show. you know, And that meant I was unconscious, living unconsciously, living asleep. And to become awakened in that moment means that when you catch your mind saying, oh wow, you're such a failure, what's wrong with you? Oh, you know, you must catch yourself in that moment. And the moment you catch yourself and say, nope, you're not saying that. Delete that sentence. I am none of those things. I am competent. I'm a happy person. I'm strong. I can create what I want to create. The moment you say that, you just became enlightened in that moment. That is what it means to become conscious. Because you took control of that brain that is unconscious and you steered it into another direction. You're no longer in your program. You are reprogramming yourself. When you do that, you're going to have a massive change in your life that takes place here. There's going to be a judgment energy <laughs> that happens to you. There's going to be a releasing of how you feel in that moment. A, you will sleep like a baby. Let me tell you, you won't have insomnia anymore. <laughs> you will just sleep, you know, because you're not carrying the stress with you. You will be in peace. And being in peace is sending out a different vibration to the universe. And the universe will respond to you back in the same vibration that you are feeling so this is a change that takes place here that leads you yes forward i feel like financially you are a little bit 
worried um so with regards to money this is very soon energy you are a little bit worried you are a little bit stressed out you may hold money a bit tight because of that okay um but i feel like your worries are really um nothing too serious you do have something coming in here that's gonna like just make you there's nothing wrong with saving or putting money away i do it all the time understand this energy goes where energy is so it flows to where it is um or water flows to the ocean you get what i'm saying so if you do save a bit of money it is a major energy shift that you can try to do and it will create the flow of money towards that money the more you save the more it comes okay and the with regards to this there is some kind of contract signed here there's some kind of business deal or client that comes in you're signing a contract it is leading to more financial stability and this is long term this is long-term stable energy with regards to money. Very nice. What you do not see coming is literally what you don't see coming. Okay. So two of swords coming in here. She's blindfolded, but she's thinking a lot because of all the birds that are like literally around her head. I don't know actually what this is for you. This could be many different things for you, but there is a blind side here to you. Your focus right now is heavily, heavily, heavily on your career, your life, your business, your dreams, your goals. But there's something here that you do not see coming, okay? And it involves the meeting of new people, um, the expansion of your life in some kind of way. I do feel like the Three of Wands is also tied to this energy. Because for life to expand, hello, you need money. If you want to take up a new hobby, how do you pay for that hobby? You need money. If you would like to go travel to a beach in Bondi Beach, okay, maybe you're in Bondi Beach, I don't know. Um, you need money to pay for that trip, okay? So that shows that there is some kind of financial stability showing up in your world that's going to expand your experiences in life more than what you see now. Interestingly enough, I also feel either this is a person that you may meet here, I'm just saying, especially if you are single, okay, there is somebody that you meet. But, okay, you have to do this first. All that we've been looking at and uh, the dreams that you're trying to create here, that's your step one to meeting this person. So to become successful in your life is the gateway to meeting who you meant to meet. And the journey is usually like that. We don't go on a journey um, to find love um, you go on a journey to find yourself okay when you find yourself love will come on its own you need to be in love with yourself and your life first before you meet the person you're meant to meet and sometimes that's why we get into relationships that are all like chaotic and upside down it's because we are chaotic and upside down so we're attracting what we are so the moment you put your life into order and you start to have this new energy here that you never carried before there is this love coming in for you and i do feel even if this is not love for you if you're in a connection you're like yeah but i'm not meeting anybody this is you meeting yourself this is you finally meeting who you are meant to be in this world it shows up here and on an emotional level it puts you exactly where you need to be it puts you in this place where you feel so happy with the life that you're creating and moving forward here that is an ace of cups so it shows that you're moving into a stage in your life that is a very emotionally satisfied and happy one. If this resonates with you, do please hit the thumbs up button. If you wish to subscribe to the channel, you can do so. Thank you so much if you do. Um, do not forget to turn on that notification bell because if you don't do that, it will, when I release a video, sometimes YouTube will not show you, you know. Otherwise, thank you so much. I'm sending these blessings to you as well. I'm sending my love. Bye.